Welcome back to our minor league pregame show as we move closer to the start of Eastern League action with tonight's installment of the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Clint Frazier will be our subject. And, well, there can be no beating around the bush on this one. He was, without a doubt, one of the best players in the minor leagues over the last month. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. It's pretty hard to find many other minor leaguers who are as hot as this guy is right now. Nobody seems to be able to figure him out, and he's got everyone else figured out. I'm very interested to see if he can keep up this pace into the next month, because if he does, I'm pretty sure we're going to see him moving up the ladder before too long. He is already one of the organization's top prospects, so I know they're anxious to see what he can do against maybe a little stiffer competition. All right. Pre-game festivities are wrapping up. It's time for baseball, and we'll have it for you next. What's going on, guys? It's Go Glover bringing you some what? Some MLB 14, the show. Clint Frazier, road to the show mode. It's been a while since I posted a Clint Frazier video, but he's back. So, we're pretty deep into the season, Clint. Still in the minor leagues, kicking it with the Trenton Thunder, the minor league affiliate of the New York Yankees. Ugh. Yeah, it sucks. And you see there, Clint, getting caught late on a high fastball. So, like I said, it's late in the season. We're getting towards the end here. Um, I believe the Trenton Thunder are their third in the division behind the Mets. And I forgot who else is in our division. And you see Clint going back on the home run ball, but can't get there in time. And that ball is gone. Clint doesn't try. Because he wants to make sure that if he's going to get that ball, he's just going to go up and do it. He's not going to miss. He's not going to embarrass himself. Clint doesn't like that. Taking a little look at the home run ball there. Clint probably could have got that if he got a better jump on it, but just couldn't get it. So, Clint's still batting a crap ton here. He's like 408, something like that. A good amount of home runs. I'm thinking around 28 to 30 home runs now. Mm, yeah, so, uh, Clint, he's click, kicking it pretty good, and he's staying hot, and that's what we want for him. So, runners at the corners here for the Trenton Thunder. Clint's up looking to get an RBI here, and he gets caught being a little impatient there, swinging at the low changeup. Now, Clint, you see they're down 4 nothing, and Clint wants nothing more than to drive in the run here, and he's going to get a blue pit. And that's going to put the Thunder on the board. And the score is now 4 to 1. So here we are. I'm coming back up to the late top of the fifth inning. 6 to 2. Portland. So let's see what Clint can do here. Here we go. And he drives one deep to center field. That one's not coming back. A no doubt shot for Clint Frazier there. And his teammates are loving it. They've been seeing that all season. And that's got to feel good for Clint. A no doubter. So, look at that. No type of fans. <laughs> All right, so 9-7. to seven, The Thunder came back against the against Portland there. And uh, you get a high fastball. It looks like a ball, but Clint getting greedy. And he gets caught swinging at a bad one. And he's going to see the result there as it's a little weak one. So, top of the eighth inning, 10-7, to seven, Trenton. We're going to see what Clint can do here against a submarine pitcher. Clint doesn't like him. He's going to give him a ground ball to first base. Nothing much there. So that's going to be Clint's last at-bat of the game. And here we go to the next game against Portland. Clint's first at-bat. one nothing. High. Fly ball deep to center field. It's still going back. At the track, at the wall. It's gone into the grass. Another home run for Clint. He's staying hot. So top of the third, Portland up 2-1. Two, two runners in scoring position for Trenton, and Clint is looking for two RBIs or more, and he sends one in a center field hard hit. That's going to score one. Here comes another. The throw to the plate, not in time. The catcher playing up there, and Clint almost gets caught. So top of the fourth, 7-5. to five. And Clint gets jammed, and he's going to pop out there to the second baseman. So we're deep in the ball game, and we'll see what Clint can do again. Showing some patience. It's a really good pitch by the pitcher, uh, and Clint gets the better end of that one. One nothing. Here we go. 
Clint being patient and he's seeing the ball well. Four pitches in. Top of the sixth inning, seven to five for Clint. He's seeing two straight fastballs. What's he gonna get here? He's gonna get a breaking ball, and that's gonna fool Clint a bit. Fastball looks or curveball looks like he was aiming for the corner there. So here we go. Two one. And that looked like a 3-1 ball. That should have been a ball there. Yep, that was going to be a ball. So Clint gets caught swinging at a bad one. So 2-2, two, two, here we go. And pitcher just gives him one right down the middle. And Clint is going to spoil that pitch. Well, not really spoil it because that was a bad pitch anyway. He just sends it, sends it into center field for a base hit. So here we go. Top of the 7th, 8-5. to 3-1 count. Clint being patient again. And there we go. He sends one deep into center field. He loves putting balls out there. That one's deep and gone. Another home run for Clint to straight away center field. I believe that was a three-run shot. Yes, sir, indeed. Second home run of the game, as you hear Matt Vasker, as you tell. So 11-7. to seven. And Clint, you see him, gets a deep fly ball behind him, but he is there. And that's going to retire the side. So we see here it's going to be the end of the ball game and Clint getting the player of the game for this one. Well deserved as he sent two balls over the fence into the grass in center field. Good day's work. Let's see his stats here. Let's take a look at him trotting around. There we go. Four for five, two home runs, six RBIs. Solid performance for Clint Frazier in that one. Taking a look at the standings here, you see the Mets and the Fighting Phils, they have clinched postseason spots. So I think the Thunder, they're just going to be playing, or we're just going to be playing for our dignity as we try and dignity as we try and finish out the season. Here we go, Clint sends one the opposite way, deep right center field. That ball is gone. Another home run for Mr. Clint Frazier. That home run ball, he loves it so much. A two-run shot to right center field. 40 home runs for Clint Frazier. Can you believe it? He's been hot all season long. Never got on a cold stretch. Take another look at this one. Boom! And then just watch it fly. So here we are. Clint's in the field. There's a fly ball. Left and Clint is going to have to get on his horse just a little bit, but it, and he catches the ball there, and that's going to be a put out for him. So here comes Clint's second at bat, bottom of the third, and he sends a ground ball to short. Nothing much there, just another ground ball, so that'll put him away. Bottom of the fifth, two, nothing. Man on first, Clint wants to do something. And he just grounds out to short. That's going to be a double play. And did not want to do that at all. Spoiled opportunity for the Thunder. Five innings complete. Trenton leads this one two to nothing. So here we are again out in the field. 0-1 lifted in the left. Clint's going to get there. And don't know what that was. Clint did not play that perfect. But he got the out anyway. That's all that matters. <laughs> the pitcher was looking out like, ah, God, that was scary, Skip. Kind of kind of scared for that one, too. But got the out. That's all that matters. So here we go. Bottom of the seventh inning. 2 nothing, Trenton. And Clint, he's got two runners on here. Another RBI opportunity. Indeed, there's one down. Oh, one. Here comes the pitch. Clint's going to get that one to the hole. And through the Third base coach will hold the base runner there, so the bases will be loaded. Great hitting by Clint. Just getting that ball through. So the bases are loaded for Tritton with one out. Skip's happy. So here we go to the bottom of the ninth. Six to four. Clint guesses the pitch right. Breaking ball and just sends it to second base. Won't do much with that one. And that'll be it. For Clint. So, you see there, 
Fighting Phils beat us six to four. Clint two for five, a home run, two RBIs, and two runs scored. But that's not enough to get the win there for the Trenton Thunder. And that was indeed the last game of the season, folks. So we're gonna see. I don't believe we got a got a playoff spot. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and see there as we wrap this one up here. And Steve Lyons. I'm Matt Baxter. All right, let's get out of here. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. All right, so, yep, that was indeed the last game. And you see there we finished 77 and 65. Wasn't good enough to make the postseason. They had some good teams. The Mets and those, those fills, they, they fought hard, and they deserved it. So, you see there we're getting called up to triple A. And now in the sense, you see there the Yankees have defeated the St. Louis Cardinals in the 2014 World Series. That's interesting. So, how about our main club there getting the win of the World Series? So, look, taking a look at the retired players, you see Derek Jeter, Hiroki Kuroda, and Ichiro Shizuki calling it quits, hanging up the cleats. So, we're going to go ahead and upgrade here. You see, Clinton, he's at a 74 overall A potential. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to upgrade his fielding attributes. Go ahead and get those up there. You see in the offseason, you sim, they go down a bit. So we just got to go ahead and upgrade them. I think we ended up just blowing as much as we could on them here. Yeah. Yeah, we just went ahead and blew what we could. So we're going to get Clint up to a 75 and then we're going to start the rest of the sim so we have a contract offer here we're going to see what we got the Yankees are offering you a one-year contract for sixty-four thousand dollars as a double-a starter so we're going to go ahead and we're not going to say anything to him we're going to go ahead and we're going to send through the offseason not telling the Yankee organization anything we didn't say yes we didn't say no and we're going to see what happens because we're not trying to be in double-a anymore we want either a triple-a contract or a major league contract. So you see there, it worked out, and we did indeed get that spring training call up, or spring training invite, more rather. So guys, that's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and please sub. In the next video there, we're going to go ahead and get into Clint's first game with the New York Yankees in spring training. Once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and take care. More to come.